If you are looking for a way to maximize your career potential and to also use the full capacity of LinkedIn, then you have come to the very right video. Please do stay tuned and watch because this video is here to assist, okay? sharing on my social media platforms that I'm doing construction, I study construction and all of that and then I've had a numerous number of new graduates and also people are still completing their studies so they've been asking me how can they use LinkedIn into its best ability for them to be able to score jobs through it okay so if you're looking for a job, a bursary or you want to get some mentorship or some form of training then LinkedIn is the best platform. Then LinkedIn is also one of the best platforms for you to get such opportunities. The real question though that remains here, Uti, how do we use LinkedIn <laughs> to its best capacity, guys? So that we can um so that we can get these opportunities. You get me? So yeah, so the very first thing we're obviously gonna have to look at is your LinkedIn profile. Okay, so your profile must show that you are actually active um, on LinkedIn and all of that. I'm going to take you guys through the basics of editing your LinkedIn profile. I'm not an expert on this, but I can like show you some very important features which must be nicely um, updated on your profile. Okay, so we're going to use my profile as an example. So, first things first, Ning, your profile picture, okay, it has to be a professional headshot. It's just something simple, but you must look professional and well representable, okay? And then when it comes to your LinkedIn banner, I suggest that you put a photo of um, something that is related to your industry, okay? For an example, I'm doing construction, so I have buildings as my, as my banner. And then we're gonna go to your personal details. So your headline is just a summary of about you and your professional skills and where you studied and your achievements. So you wanna write down like some very great points about you. If you did a BSc in what class, just put it there. And then you write down to care, you've got a certificate in what, you're a member of what, what, You've got this award, you studied at this and that, you know, make it sound tempting, okay? A recruiter must want to see your profile, okay? And sometimes it's not just recruiters that are looking at your profiles, okay? There are directors and CEOs of companies, okay? You might find someone who might just reach out to you and like, I saw that you posted that you need a job, let me help you, okay? So... Just make sure that you, your, your headline is a beautiful, short, sweet summary about yourself. Okay, so guys, when we move on, you're going to go to your about section. So this is where you're going to write um, a professional summary, a bit of background on your career and your knowledge, okay? And you're going to write your brief skills on it. And then lastly, you also have to write down your future goals for your career, okay, that you... You know, you want to um, increase your expertise and become a project manager and those kind of things. So put it there. When you go down to experience, you just maybe going to put um, when you started and the end date and then the skills. So it is very, very important, guys, to show that you do have the skills that are related to your industry. So for me, as I'm doing construction, it's mainly things like problem solving, project management, thing, budget control. Um, time management, teamwork, construction management, using Microsoft Office, and those those kind of stuff. It has to be really, really related to the industry. And then obviously with your education as well, you're going to write what you studied and what's the program, and then you're going to add the skill that you learned through the, the program. And then when we continue, then we have licenses. So your licenses and your certifications, make sure you do end them as well, guys. They are very important. Like that two-day training of yours, put it there, okay? Because if you're someone like me who doesn't have much experience, 
this little nanya trainings and all of that does assist okay in building up your profile and make it firm and then now i'm going to go to your skills i've mentioned already that your skills um on linkedin have to be skills that are related to the industry okay so that's that and then after okay now we're done talking so now we're done talking about all things linkedin profile now let's talk about how do you um engage how do you create connections how do you network on linkedin so i'm gonna say this name so it's generally not a good idea for you to only log on to linkedin when you're just looking for a job because okay fine you're gonna find the job posts ne? you're gonna find the job posts and then you're gonna send your applications there but on linkedin as the platform you have to use it and network okay because that's the better way of getting that job okay because you might find that some of these job posts that they make from these companies they already have people for them they're just posting for, for for professionalism for 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 the i don't know for what like to to actually show that they do hire people you know, that kind of stuff but like you have to use linkedin as a networking tool more than just a tool for you to look for a job and that's it okay so it's unlike the other websites like pnet to career wise or job junction and so on it's a little bit different with linkedin you have to have to engage so let's talk about how do you engage on linkedin so you don't necessarily need to become a linkedin content creator no okay so let's say if somebody posts that they just started a new job you can simply congratulate that person on the comments because your linkedin activities are also going to show on your profile guys let me close this laptop it's making a I don't know what's wrong. It's overheating. Okay, I feel like this. So yeah, so if someone posted that they've got a new job, congratulate those people, okay? Because it's also gonna show on your profile that you've congratulated the spend money all and all of that. And then if you see an interesting post um based on your industry, reshare and add some comments and some suggestions on it, okay? And then another thing also that really does help that has also helped me is to post okay i feared posting on linkedin for a very long time until one day i realized that okay i need this goddamn job let me post okay so i went on there and then i had like a nice professional picture of myself and i said hi guys my name is Van Bani. i studied a bsc in construction management at the nelson mandela university and then and and i'm looking for for this kind of a job you know and my post got a lot of engagement reshares and it got to a point whereby i literally got a job through that hear me out guys hear me out it's possible so your fear of posting must go away when you're on linkedin because nobody is gonna make fun of you there everyone there is very serious and we're looking for, for for jobs to provide for our families go to your my network next to the home button and then you're gonna find like people who have the same skills as you people that study the same thing and then you're gonna send out requests okay so i've got like a whole bunch to accept already so you're gonna go there and 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 do that because when you post guys those are the same people who are going to 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 assist you with with the linkedin algorithm okay and then linkedin also has like a a feature of jobs okay where there's a section where you can do quick apply and all of that so for me i personally have never like been lucky enough to be assisted by that very same feature but see there are jobs on that feature where you can just simply click on the job link and then it's just gonna take you to the application and then you just apply okay but i do know a couple of people who are actually assisted by this feature so you can also check it out guys 
so there's a lot of different ways for you to, to, to use the platform on LinkedIn for you to stand out. But the number one one is to make sure that you are actually in networking and engaging with people. And once you feel like you've built a lot of connections, then you can start posting. When you post, guys, have faith and don't 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 be scared to even post again and again and again. Like something is gonna eventually um, come up. Okay. So that is what I have for now, briefly about LinkedIn. And if there is more that I've left out, I will definitely make um, a part two video on it. And you guys can also add some suggestions that you have uh, down here on the commenting box. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate your video, your video suggestions. I will see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.